Hi, thanks for joining me today. My name is Chris, and today I am bringing you the second layout for the March for the Love of Homemade Kits. Today I am scrapbooking four pictures. Uh, these are pictures of my daughter and my parents, and we had gone to a local uh, tea room for high tea to celebrate my dad's birthday. So what I'm doing is just taking... Um, the variegated or the ombre green paper that came from the We Are Memory, um, we Are Memory Keepers Wildflowers paper pad. And I'm using that as my background. And then I'm using the Maggie Holmes vellum um, sheet with the gold uh, foiling flowers. And I just cut a one and a half or Actually, yeah, one and a half inch strip that I'm going to run down the left hand side. And then I'm going to take a little tiny, like a quarter inch strip of that black paper with the flowers and the butterflies. And I'm going to use that kind of like a washi tape. And I'm going to run that up the border and along these three photos. And I'm just going to run these three photos up the left hand side. And then I'm going to mat the other photo on the black cardstock and put that to the right. And I'm also going to then take this little one inch strip of that gold foiled vellum and I'm just going to tuck it in underneath the pictures. And here I am. I'm just going to ahead and mat that. I will throw that matting on top of another piece of vellum as well. And that's it as far as how I'm going to set up the... Um, layout. The rest is just going to be embellishing and currently I am participating in Calvin Ball. I'm not sure if any of you are doing it but it's been a pretty fun. So a lot of the items that are on here I'm trying to find as many as I can that are on the current list for today's date which is March 8th that I'm making this. So I'm gonna you're going to see that I'm probably going to throw on a lot more than I normally would which is kind of the purpose of Calvin Ball. It makes you kind of stretch your comfort zone and look at things that you wouldn't have normally put on and have you add more than what you normally would. Now, some people that are doing Calvin Ball try and put every single item that are on the list onto their layout. I'm not that way. I still want to have a nice looking layout. But you will see that at one point after I get done finding all of my embellishments and getting them all stuck down, I do write down on a piece of paper all the items that I have on the list. And then you'll see that I'll go back into my supplies and grab a few more items that I know I can put on the layout and get a few extra points. So here I am. I'm, I'm just, again, going through the die cuts, finding what will work. I had taken out those die cuts to say you are my cup of tea and tea for two, um, better together. I thought these were all appropriate again because we're having high tea at a tea room. And then I'm pulling out all of the flowers and things like that I that I like. When, as I was laying them down in the beginning, I didn't like how they were looking. So I'm just kind of moving things around and try to figure out and once I kind of have a general idea of where they're going to go I usually glue as I go I don't like things floating around and moving I figure I don't put it down um, tough enough or strong enough that I can't peel something back up and I just have found that that's the best way and I also try not to sit there and hem and haw and second guess if I like the way it looks I'm going with it I've got too many photos and too many layouts to do to, to spend hours and hours and hours on a layout. And I'm still happy with how they all turn out. So in the left-hand cluster, you're going to see I have the T for two die cut with a flower die cut behind. And I also did take um, that um, banner or bannered label that has the... Um, fishtail on the end. You'll see that I'll tuck that in behind and then I do tuck in that pink butterfly up above that. In the upper cluster I have the doily. I have the 
You Are My Cup of Tea die cut with a flower die cut tucked behind. And then I took that tab label and I um, put that in under um, underneath. And then in the bottom, I found a circle with a heart that says Always Better Together with the green. And I tucked the flower die cut underneath that. And then I took this Maggie Holmes camera that's in gray that I had in my stash that I had fussy cut out of some paper. And I actually cut that on a diagonal and I'm able to put a little bit in the upper right hand cluster and then the bottom cluster. And so here you can see that I've got that banner in and now I'm tucking in the butterfly. And I'm just gonna have him hang off and trim off the little bit of the edges. Now the paper clip I wanted to get on, um, kind of was struggling. I didn't want to have it too far in because I didn't want to cover up the camera. So it's kind of hanging over a little bit, but when it goes into the album, it should move over. Now I have this one um, rub-on butterfly that I'm going to go ahead and use, getting it out of my stash. And I think that uses up the rest of those butterfly um, rub-ons that I had. I think those were like one canoe two maybe or one of those. Um, and I had used all of them, and I had that one lonely butterfly left, so I was happy to get that on the layout. Down in the bottom cluster, again, I have that circle die cut, and I took the word veneer word today, and I've glued that over the top. I found another die cut that said happy, 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 and I tucked that in underneath, and then the other half of that camera. And... Let's see, what am I doing now? Now I'm just kind of gluing everything down. I did was able to use that gray frame that said Happy Place. And now I'm just going through the sticker sheet and seeing if there's anything that I can find. I found the label that says Better Together. I found a circular um, pink circle with a um, gold, gold foiled or um, heart. I'm going to use that in the upper corner. And then um, I was able to find a flower that I stuck down on the frame. I kind of went through the chipboard and didn't see anything that I liked. So now I'm going to go ahead and take these um, Hip Kit Club um, gold scripty font and I'm going to spell out the word crumpets, which is the name of the tea room. And I'm going to put it on the wax paper because I'm not sure if I can tuck it in on the top of the photo on the left hand side and or if I'm going to go to the bottom right. Ends up going to the bottom right. There was just more room in here. So going through I was able to get quite a bit onto the layout. So I will get a point for the frame. Um, I You will see that as I'm making my list I realize that I don't have any arrows so I'll grab a wood veneer arrow and I'm going to glue those on. I have, I'm going to take out in a moment my date stamp and I'm going to stamp the date which was in 2013 on the bottom and I'm just using some of my um, Stampin' Up! ink and that was in uh, just a gray. You'll see that in a moment once I have these arrow, um, oh so I'm putting these stars down. So then I have, so I'll get credit for my date stamp. I have my circle, which is with the heart and also the, the die cut that says better, always better together is my circle. I have my labels and then I will um, journal in the bottom right hand corner, which will count for my handwriting. I have the heart in the one sticker up above and then I used multiple photos. I have flowers, leaves, vellum. I put the wood veneer um, stars and then um, I do have gold foiling in um, my embellishment that says happy happy happy. I used a doily. I have green for my background paper and also the leaves. I used butterflies, um, wood veneers, I used fussy cut item, would be my camera, uh, the paper clip, and the color pink. 
so I was able, oh, and then you'll see that as I'm making my list also, um, the last thing I will do is I will sp um, sprinkle Heidi Swap Color Shine on my layout as well. So here I am, I'm making that list and just kind of checking things off and going, okay, what do I have? What can I put on that I still have in my kit or that I can easily grab out of my stash to add more points? So I end up with the layout share, the video, and the layout itself. I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 points for this layout. So I think that's pretty good. Um, I am going to post it today in the folder, but I'll, I'll upload the video tomorrow for mini or for the Monday release of the video. But yeah, it's it's this has been a fun time. I've gotten over a hundred points. I've been able to make eight layouts now. I kind of caught up today from. On the weekend of having to work or during the week so really enjoying it here you saw that I, I saw that I needed some enamel dots so I grabbed some blank black ones out of my stash that brings a little bit more of that black that's um, in the um, the words T for two and the black um, ribbon that I have up there and also the black paper that's behind and again, I'm going through and looking and seeing, okay, what else do I need? And just writing everything down. And I have um, the list. It changes every day where they add and they delete things. So like today, they deleted three items from the Calvin Ball list. So you weren't able to use, let me see here. It's thinking. Okay, so today they removed um, houses they used they had on the list a house they removed that today. Um, ice cream they had on the list for a, a day or two they removed that, and they removed ducks, which I never got any on mine, but that's okay. So here you see I'm just going ahead and getting the final touch, which is the um, gold um, Heidi Swap color shine. And that finishes off the layout. I want to thank you for watching. Here are some close-ups of my layout at, at the end. If you have any questions, please um, leave them down below. And thank you for subscribing. Bye-bye.